Hello guys, this is me Sao here. In this video, I'm going to continue to teach you my simplified CFOP. And today I'm going to teach you the third part of the CFOP, which is the OLL. Now, OLL, um, I will teach you uh, around 14 to 15 um, very useful formulas. Um, the cases will appear very very frequently, and I be, I believe that um, that fourteen or fifteen formulas will really help you to boost up your solving speed. So, in this part, in this particular video, I'm going to teach you um, four formulas. The first four, the 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 very basic of the basic. Now, um, I, underst I understand that, you know, um, uh, when we are doing OIL using the basic methods, you have to form something like a yellow course. Then, after forming the yellow course, then we can do the the formulas. So for my simplified CFOP, um, unfortunately, uh, in order to reduce the number of formulas that you need to memorize, we also have to form a yellow cross first, then we can solve it. Um, there will be seven different scenarios, I mean cases, after we formed the yellow cross. So I will teach you the solution for all the seven cases, but maybe not in this video, because, because when the video is too long, um, my phone I mean, my iPad start to crash, and all those, all those whatever things will happen, and I don't want it. So I'm going to teach you maybe four, maybe three, in this video. Okay. So now let's scramble the cube and let's um, finish until F two L first. I believe you've already. Um, not say master, but at least know quite clearly um, how to actually how to actually do F to L. So I, I'm not going to go through again. I believe those examples will help you. Okay. Um, okay. So now we finished the F two L, and now we get this. Uh, um, OL case. Now this case, uh, I wanted to teach you, but for now, for now, I will not teach you the solution to solve this case straight away. Instead, I'm going to teach you um, a faster method to form the yellow cross. It is very similar to the basic method, um, but it, it, but, it's, but it's just faster. It's, it's not really a formula, it's just a little trick. Okay, so now we see, um, we got this point like OL. So this is a point. It, it never really forms an angle or a line. So Point, angle, and line is basically the three basic cases when you are trying to form the yellow cross. So how do we deal with that? Now I'm going to teach you um, the more efficient way now. Firstly, now we encounter this situation called point. Now this point um, is a hardest and the easiest. 
the hardest means that you have to do the most steps to to actually get to the yellow cross. The easiest means that um, you can do the formula from which from whichever direction you want, as long as the yellow is facing up. So um, let's just choose a random site to do. Let's choose uh, maybe maybe this one. I like blue. Okay, so let's choose this one. Now, um, now uh, this this formula may feel familiar with you, but I mean, in fact, it should be because it is the basic method formula. So you you can just watch because I'm just going to do a recap here. First layer, uh, clockwise down, up, left down, right, front layer up. Um, does that sounds, I mean, looks um, familiar? If it doesn't, then my suggestion is you go learn the uh, I mean, my suggestion is you should not learn this yet because just because just now that the formula is a super basic one. It's one of the basic methods formula. If you didn't really know that, then please go and find some place to learn the layer by layer method, but not but not CFOB now because. Because um, that that is only the basic one, and you don't really know the basic one, so you can't really learn it now. If you feel just now that formula is familiar, then congrats, you can carry on. So after we uh, uh, apply that formula to the dot, now it became a an angle. See, angle. Uh, I think it's 90 degrees, but yeah, basically just an angle. Or I like to call it a hook, but whatever, at least you know what, what I'm talking about. So when we encounter this kind of situation, um, we are going to change the basic method, the formula a bit, so that after doing the formula, uh, the yellow cross will be there straight away. So this thing will not turn into a line, then a yellow cross. But how I will show you now. Wait up. So now let's just try using the traditional basic method formula to solve this case. Do this thing again. Oh yeah, by the way, I know a lot of tutorials they teach you to put that and go outside, but but for me, because later we are going to learn another similar formula, I recommend you to change the habit to put the angle facing your right palm. So it's facing like this direction. So hold the cube like this, then do that traditional old old formula. Okay, now you see they become a line. So now we have to make the line parallel to us, and then we have to do this thing again. Then here we have the yellow cross. But, but now I'm going to teach you a slightly faster way. Um, okay, now I make this angle again. Now, still, you put the angle facing your uh, right palm. So you hold the like this. Then, instead of Pushing down one front layer, 
you put sound to. So it's like double down. See? Double down. Then the rest is the same. Up. Uh, I mean single layer up, left, down, right. Then the last step, we also change it to double up. So see? Now we can do the yellow cross straight away. Without doing two times of the formula and actually seeing the line. So this is, um, I will not call it a formula because this is actually just a little trick, a little shortcut. It may save you only about two seconds, but but um, but to me, I believe that it it doesn't matter how much time it saves you, as long as it can reduce the time of I mean, as long as it can reduce the time of you take to solve the cube, then it's good. Okay, so I will show you just on that formula again. Again, this angle here. Now we push the front two layer down. Then up, left, down, right. Then we make the front two layer up. So now the yellow cross will be formed straight away without seeing the line. Um, okay. Okay. So now this is a this is a point. This is a point case. That means there. That means there are. I mean, there. There is only one yellow piece at the top. I mean, one or two. As long as it doesn't form a line or a angle. So, this is a dot, a point case. Now the point case, you can select whichever side you want to do. So let's just. Um, so I decide because again, I like blue. So I like the blue facing me. So for this one, um, now we are going to join the two formulas together. The first one is still the old old traditional one. This one. Now, now it becomes an angle. Then, you please do not go and hesitate and go and observe and go and react again. Just straight away, connect and do that double layer down that formula. Ah, see? So now it's the yellow cross appeared. So the key to improve is actually um, less time for hesitating less time for actually reacting and less time for observing so um so this is the point and the angle so now i teach you how to deal with the point case or the dot case and the angle case now i'm going to teach you how to deal with the line case uh, actually, there's nothing much I can teach you because for line case, all you have to do is just follow the old right path of the basic method, which is you make the line uh, parallel. So it's not um, vertical; it's horizontal. You make the line like this, then choose whatever side you want. You can either choose this side to face you or this side. For me, I choose this one. Okay. Then you do that old, old formula. Ah. See? Now the yellow cross. 
the 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 basic three cases, the point, the angle, and the line. So you are gonna uh, so you have to get used of them, and and be sure that you you finish the yellow cards um, using the least moves. Now you see the yellow cards is here. Okay. So now um, the first three cases I teach you finish. So now I'm going to teach you the next cases, which means that um, when you form the yellow cards, there will be only seven cases that will that will actually appear on a cube. So no matter what, no matter how do you form the yellow cross, no matter you do, do it from the line or the points or the angle, there will be only seven possible cases. And now I'm going to teach you the solution, the fastest, the fastest solution.